Hello everyone. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you about the two basic shapes of gizmo. There are two ways that gizmo can be shaped. A consonant and a vowel, and then two consonants, and then another vowel. Or two consonants, a vowel, a consonant, and then a vowel. If anything is shaped those ways, then it's a gizmo. And if it's not shaped those ways, it's not a gizmo. So here's some example of gizmo. Fonja. Here's my phone. It's a fonja. Fonja is shaped like this. F is consonant, and then a vowel, and then N, X are consonants, and then another vowel. All right. Nimre. These are nimre. That means citrus fruit. Nimre. Also shaped that way. Consonant, vowel, two consonants, and a vowel. Narju. These are also the color orange, so they're narju. That's also that shape. Hmm, we've got something, some other shape, right? All right? Okay, these things are shrino. That means they're green. Shrino is the other gizmo shape. See? All right. Nukni means magenta. This pen is magenta colored. So it's Nukni. Nukni is this shape. And Penbi. These things are all pens. So they're Penbi. Shaped like that. Plisa. These are apples. Plisa. Plisa is this other shape. Lisa. Jean she shears or scissors. Jean she Hun re red. All of these things here are Hun re. And Tamsha tomato. These are Tamsha. Seem to have a bunch more of this shape, but that's just a coincidence. Those are the two ways that gizmo can be shaped. They have, you can tell that they're a brief well because they have um, a consonant cluster. If, there's, if it was just shaped like this, then that's too schmavo. But the fact that there's a cluster means that it's a brief well. Oh, and here's a latu. Latu. There's another one shaped like that. So, that's a basic lesson about how to recognize gizmo. Anything shaped like that is a gizmo.